Hi everyone, this is Arcadius and welcome back to Nalo Creed. Today we'll be going over another event mission or special mission, and that is the Habakkuk experience. Um, I literally just finished playing it for the first time right before this video, and it is actually the best one yet. It is insanely fun. And I actually really hope they continue with these special event missions in the future. Uh, it is a limited time thing, I'm pretty sure. Um, it, but yeah, these are fun. I do enjoy these. However, I don't enjoy having to spend my diamonds on them. Um, if we could just, you know, play them normally, that'd be nice. But let's go into today's mission. So we're going to be using Habakkuk. Now, it's not the one that you're, we're familiar with. We have the Habakkuk Mini for Britain. Let me go back to her. Um, I mean, I've had this one, but it's kind of meh. It doesn't really play that well. And it's a special ship, so you can't even use it in normal battle. And it should be... Yep, here it is. Alright, so this is the Mini Habakkuk. Um, but we get to play the full-size version. And let me tell you, it is insanely fun. So, let's just toss her into a battle and see what we can do. So, again, it's going to cost a ticket. But that's fine, we got a few of them. It's a one-person-only mission, and we're actually going to do two videos of this one, and I'll explain why. One where we actually use aircraft because we're a carrier, and one where we just use secondaries because it's literally overpowered. Uh, so we have us and a Habakkuk and a Katarina, actually two Katarinas, a Rostoslav and Andromeda, two blues, and we have a bunch of enemy ships. No destroyers, though, which is probably good. Now have this neat little frost animation along the side of your screen and yeah so we're going to just drop down real quick um so my secondaries are immediately going to start firing because you have two cruisers that unfortunately spawn right next to you and every single sh gun on your ship just starts immediately firing um we have minotaur dual purpose six inch guns lined along the entire side of the ship I really can't zoom out any more than this, but this is just what it is. You can kind of see them. And if I go like this, I kind of see on the four and the stern, we have triple 18 inch guns, just like we see on um, L3, that fire MAP. Now one thing about this ship is that she does not like to turn and she is god awfully slow. Um, but our secondaries are easily able to take care of enemy cruisers and this ship has an interesting feature she has an infinity heal uh, so up here at the top you can press the heal and once it decides well I need damage first but um, you can heal literally as many times as you want and it reloads in like a few seconds so I lost a little bit of health okay there we go I healed and then you can just keep pressing it over and over again there's no limit to how many times you can heal which is absurdly powerful and we already start off with um like 100 1.6 million health you really don't need that much also these are the torpedo bombers they're jet aircraft they are i'm not sure what those are those might be vixens um and then when we go to <laughs> the type bombers they're Lancasters, which are actually heavy bombers. Um, yes, I'm being torpedoed, but my ship is literally so big it does not care. Alright, so let's see what we can shoot with our torpedo bombers. We have an H-42 over here, and we're going to go work on him. My secondaries are just going to keep going off this entire time. I really don't care, and I can just sit here and keep healing with no issue. Also, I have never flooded after taking an innumerable amount of torpedoes last game. So, I don't really think you have to worry about that, and I've never been set on fire. And it would be nice if my game could work. Hello? Alright, so we're gonna drop this H-42. Your torpedoes are kind of slow, so do keep that in mind when you're dropping. And then we're just going to have our dive bombers just head this way for right now. Look at all those torpedoes. 
And she's going to soak up quite a few of them. In fact, I might not even have to dive bomb her. Yeah, there we go. It only took us 20 torpedoes, but there we go. Um, you know what, for laughs, let's just dive bomb the Albany. It's kind of overkill, but if we hit, we hit. If not, oh well. Your bombs do take a little bit of time to drop. But uh, when they hit, they hurt. That was one bomb hit and like 11,000 damage. Personally, I enjoy the torpedo bombers the most. Oh, and the carrier's doing the crazy secondary thing again. Um, but yeah, if you look at the spare aircraft, we have like 800 spare torpedo bombers and 192 spare dive bombers. So you're never going to run out of aircraft, and you can just keep magically healing the entire time. Your anti-aircraft power is not exceptional, but you will knock down some planes. Let's get our torpedo bombers back out here. I prefer them overall. And yeah, we're just gonna meander our way towards the, the right here. Again, we do not turn very quickly at all. And we are just gonna keep soaking in torpedo hits, but with the infinity heal, it doesn't matter. And I really hope my secondaries are able to fix themselves. There we go, they fix themselves. Okay. So let's put all our torpedo bombers together. And what are we shooting, actually? Oregon City. Well, let's focus on the Kaga. Uh, these are those uh, Kaga skins that we have. There are carriers in this one, but I'm really not worried that worried about it. Literally, if you just focus your um, secondaries on them, they'll just sink in a matter of minutes, honestly. What we're going to do is try and work over... Uh, actually, we probably should try and sink these Oregon Cities. Because they're a... Well, no, we have a ton of aircraft. Let's just keep going after some juicier targets. Because the Kaga is pretty much going to go down without much help from our secondaries. It's just going to completely... Yeah, I'm sitting down. There it goes. And let's get the other one now. We dropped our torpedoes on the H-42. So we'll see how well that does. And keep healing. Um, yeah, you see, our torpedoes are slow enough that you can actually out have your targets outrun your torpedoes if you drop too far away. Okay, so let's bring out our dive bombers. Let's just put them on the H-42. There is also a Tosa around here somewhere. I'm not sure where she is right now. Oh, she might be... Yep, there she is. Uh, so she does kind of hurt more than the other ones. Also, you can sit it out the H-42, or not H-42, H-45, uh, with Havocook, which is actually extremely interesting and very enjoyable. But let's get our torpedo bombers back out momentarily, and we're just going to keep healing with no issue at all. I'm still focused on the carrier. Pretty sure, or unless she already went down. What am I shooting at now? Yeah, I'm not actually. Sh yeah, I think the carrier went down, so we're gonna focus on Oregon City there. Dive bombers are doing their thing. If they hit, they hit. Doesn't matter. All right, let's focus on the next Oregon City. And let's try and torpedo Tosa here, actually. Because her 14-inch high explosive, those are the guns that hurt the most. But we got a ton of torpedoes in the water for her. Let's just put some dive bombs on her, too. She's going to soak up every one of those torpedoes. Boink. 30 torpedoes. And the cruisers just keep sinking. Um, let's focus H-45 with our secondaries, actually. If we can, hello. There we go. How are we doing? Oh, we're fine. Oh, we're actually not even moving. Not quite sure why, but alright. 
Let's go this way. But yeah, I'm I'm citadeling H45 right now with those triple 18s on the front of the ship, and it's just amazing how much damage you can do with just your secondaries, honestly, but your main aircraft as well. And with this heal, you're kind of overpowered. Though I am taking quite a bit of damage right now, I do have to say. Still citadeling H45 though. She'll go down in no time. Just look at the amount of secondaries that come out of this ship. It's ridiculous. And the more I turn, the more secondaries I, I can use. Because now all my 6 inch are being used as well. Alright, let's get all of our torpedo bombers together. H-45 is going to go down, so we're going to try and drop H-42 with our torpedoes. We'll see if that's any good. Let's have our dive bombers hit Tosa. Yep, there goes H-45. And it definitely looks like we're going to get some hits with our torpedoes here. Gone. Absolutely wrecked. And that just leaves Tosa. And yeah, so we got a nice little secondary brawl. One super secondary ship versus another. She's going to hurt a lot more than I am. So I am going to have to use my aircraft for the most part because those 14 inch guns... The high explosive is going to hurt because the best way to sink Habakkuk is high explosive because it's always going to citadel. So infinity heal or not, it's going to be a, a long time before we sink this ship here. But we have every secondary we possibly can firing at this ship. We have almost 1500 secondary hits already. It's actually making my game lag a bit. Right, so we're going to keep healing. We're going to get our torpedo bombers back out here as well. And let's slightly turn a bit so we can keep all of our guns on target. I've actually been able to Citadel Tosa with the secondaries as well, which is not something you can normally do, even when you're playing like a battleship or something. So we're just going to keep healing. Yep, there we go. Citadel right there. 20,000 damage. Torpedo bombers are out. Let's get them in a good position. Let's get the dive bombers to go out as well. Torpedo bombers. Let's go over here. Maybe something like that as a good drop. She'll soak up all of these torpedoes like a champ, but it'll still do a ton of damage. Then we're just going to let the dive bombers do what they want. But yeah, this ship is absolutely massive, and it's kind of ridiculous how strong she is, though she's extremely fun as well. The Infinity Heal is just a game changer, and I really want to try just not even using aircraft, just floating around and shooting everything with secondaries, and that's what I'm going to do next game. So we'll get a chance to see how that works out as well. But yeah, we're just going to let our secondaries finish off Habakkuk. Our secondary range is 15 kilometers, so anything within that range is going to be absolutely annihilated and there we go so let's see how much cut off all damage we did this time so this was including aircraft and let's see anytime now here we go uh 200 and no let me rephrase that 2.7 million damage 12 ships sunk 94 torpedo hits 23 bomb hits 69 aircraft shot down 19 citadels, 35 fires, 2 modules destroyed, 2,016 secondary hits. Fires did 926,000 damage, 
Secondary battery did 1.26 million damage. Torpedoes did 237,000. And air bombs did 273,000 damage. The just the amount of damage you dish out is amazing. We even took 1.8 million damage ourselves. But we just kept healing, so we didn't actually feel it at all. So that's how Habakkuk is for the first mission we're going to do today, actually using the aircraft. And now we're going to use, well, just the secondaries. So let's do that. All right, so we already got the rewards. We're just going to make ourselves a room again, and let's go. It's just meme ships like this where it's just full secondary brawl. Those are the fun the best ones and i love secondary brawling carriers like graf zeppelin is always going to be one of my favorite carriers um without a doubt it's it's just so nice to be able to just sail around and destroy everything in sight so we're just going to do full secondary brawl you can just see all of the six inch guns i can't even get the entire ship in the view Right, so we're just going to head out, and we're just going to keep spamming the heal button. You don't even use these aircraft. I wonder, maybe those are the fighters. Because we don't actually get fighters with this, this carrier. We have the torpedo bombers right there. We have the heavy bombers, uh, well, kind of along the edge here. But we never use these ones. Those are interesting. Alright, so we're just going to meander our way around all of the 6-inch high explosive and the 457 MAP. There she goes. I don't even notice my team when I play this game or this mission. So you could literally do this all by yourself without an issue. Also, if the Andromeda is hitting me from there, I have a really big hitbox as well. Alright, so we're just going to meander ourselves this way. Remember, the secondary range is 15 kilometers. So, once ships start getting into that range, they're pretty much sunk at that point. And we're just going to keep spamming the heal button because we're going to have a fun time just sinking everything with secondaries. Also, our base aircraft pool is 767 spare torpedo bombers and 192 spare dive bombers which is absolutely ridiculous if you don't already know the story behind the ship it is actually pretty interesting and you should look it up and just check it out all right so we're going to knock down some aircraft here so we're going to soak up a lot of torpedoes as well but if you notice from the last video or the last game, uh, we never actually were set on fire and we were never flooded. So we are, I don't even know why we have a repair. Oh, we got, even got dive bomb there, I'm pretty sure. But the Kaga really can't touch us. We are god awfully slow though. I even have all my speed buffs. And we're still only like 23.4. And if you put her in the turn, oh geez, she slows down to like 19 knots. I can't imagine running into an island and actually having to back this thing up. It'd take you the entire mission. Which we actually have 30 minutes to do, which is way too much time, honestly. But if you just stand back and don't use your secondaries and you just hide in a corner and just use your aircraft, then that, you may need that much time. Are our secondaries broken again? I think they might be. Oh, no, not those ones. We're not even going to focus targets. We're just going to let the ship shoot whatever it wants to shoot. I'm going to head in the general direction of the enemy team, though. The lag is real though. Jeez, all, all the secondaries. 
Oh, we're gonna eat. Yep, there it goes. Goodbye. And we're doing the crazy secondary thing. Right, let's... Nope, you didn't fix yourself. How about now? We're getting dive-bombed again. Shooting some more aircraft down. As you can see, we're really not that strong in terms of AA. But it also really doesn't matter all that much. So we're slowly chasing down these ships, even though they're kind of outrunning us. They are also turning around. Oh, the carrier popped up and immediately got shot at, so that should be a lot of damage right there. Gonna soak up every torpedo that fires at us, but it's okay. We literally haven't lost even that much health, because I, I just keep spamming the health button. And there's the other carrier. And so there was one. What are we shooting at now? I don't even know. Just gonna let the carrier do what it wants to do, and we're just gonna keep her alive. Oh, we're citadeling something, though. We have the intention of the entire enemy team. Which is nice. Though our team actually is doing pretty well. It looks like we only lost a battleship and a destroyer. So yeah, oh, there's the Andromeda. Hello again. You're in the wrong neighborhood because any shot that misses me is gonna hit you. I'm citadeling something again. Multiple times. I don't, it might be hitting the H-45 at this point. Andromeda might be sunk here pretty soon. Especially, I think she's in H-45 secondary range, so yeah, she's definitely going to go down here. And she's gone. Okay. Well, we're still firing. And being dropped by aircraft, but it's fine. We're still just spamming that heal button. Twenty three point four knots, and I'm still chasing them down. There's literally so many targets here, my secondaries probably don't know which one to shoot at. I don't even know which one they are shooting at. Getting a lot of citadels though, so that'll work out. Let's actually see which one they're shooting at. Oh yeah, it has been H-45. And there she goes. Alright, we are now shooting the H-42. And we're actually accidentally hitting the Oregon City because she's so close and in front of the H-42. Oof. That poor ship. It almost makes me feel bad for it. Because it probably won't survive where it's sitting. Oh, that was a big hit right there. That was nice. At this angle, a lot of H-40... Or my shots against H-42 won't be doing much. But that's fine. Tosa's right here as well. We're six and a half kilometers away from Tosa right now. And the carriers are still alive, but that's fine. We're just going to keep healing. Though we are steadily losing health. We'll admit that. You know what, let's actually start meandering our way back towards the east, because that's where we're eventually going to have to go. We've decided to open fire on Oregon City at 11 kilometers, and not the one that's four and a half kilometers away. That's fine. Cruisers will melt really quickly, so it doesn't matter.
I wonder if we're going to start shooting that Kaga as well. Because she is starting to get out of range. Oh, yep, there goes the Oregon City. And looks like we're going to start focusing on the Albemarle. There she goes. I don't really want to ram Tosa. It looks like that might be what happened. Also, we're focusing on Tosa now. And yeah, Kaga's out of secondary range for right now. That's fine. We're going to try and avoid this ram. You can see the guns here now. Point blank 18 inch shells just hitting our broadside. This is actually pretty cool. Oh, we forgot to be spamming the heel. We're actually shooting right over her. <laughs> actually nailing the cruiser behind. Are we going to hit her or no? Oh my gosh, we just rammed her and sank her. Okay. Well, we're going to keep going and keep pressing heel because that was a lot of damage. Didn't really expect to ram her, but I guess our hitbox is that big. We're actually under 100,000 health, so we're just going to head this way and keep spamming heal. And maybe eventually get back into range? Who knows. If not, I still think we had a successful game. But those other two ships might be just far enough. I could easily finish them off with my aircraft, but I just wanted to use secondaries just to see how well it worked out. Though I have remarkably lower Citadel numbers than I had in the last game, but that's because I was prioritizing which targets my secondaries were shooting at. In this game, I did not do that. Also, it would be nice if I could get off of the Tosa. It's slowing me down even more than I are. It looks like the Kaga might be coming back here. We might be able to finish her off with secondaries, if she survives even that long. But yeah, the ship is just very overpowered, and it's enjoyably overpowered, but it's heck to go against. The best way to sink this ship is honestly just broadside HE Citadels. That's the only way. Right, so the carrier is going to go down, and I don't really think I'm going to get anywhere close to the uh, the other ship at 44 kilometers away. So we're just going to pause it here and see how this game ends. All right, so we're still not exactly there yet, but the other bots have been working her down pretty well. Uh, we've been able to heal almost, well, a third of our health, I think. Yeah, just about a third. And yeah, you can literally just sit here and spam it. So if you're the only one left on the team, you can just retreat for a little bit and just keep healing yourself and you'll be back to full health in no time. Well, maybe sometime because it'll take a while, but you can actually get yourself back all the way to full health. And honestly, if this, yeah, this battleship is actually going to go behind the island just enough, if it survives, that we actually won't be able to see it and I will be able to heal even more but that's if she survives she is pretty low health and she might not make it out yeah she keeps going down I think she might be on fire and yeah there she goes I'm sunk by the destroyer all right so that was an all secondary game of Habakkuk so let's see what kind of damages we had we did shoot down more aircraft but let's citadels Still were able to get 2.3 million damage though. 11 ships sunk, 74 aircraft shot down, 25 citadels, 24 fires, 1,759 secondary hits. We actually had less secondary hits and a secondary only game versus the other one. Well, it's probably because I accidentally rammed in Sanctosa. If that didn't happen, then we would have been able to get a ton more secondary hits. So... Fires did 382,000 damage, secondary battery did 1.16 million, 
Nah, ramming. Did 766,000 damage. Unintentional, and I didn't really want to do it, but it worked out, and we were still able to win. Uh, with that, that does complete the Habakkuk event mission, the special mission. Um, that is the most enjoyable one I found so far. And then tomorrow, we get to do the very last one, in which we use the new sister ship of Grozovoy, which is Udoloi. Um, there is a bit of a catch, though, and we'll be go into that tomorrow when we go over that mission. So again, thank you for watching, and take care.